Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody is uh, having a good uh, deck. Hope everybody did well trading today. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, all we ask is take one second. That's all we ask to support the channel. Uh, take one second, uh, leave a like, share, subscribe, uh, all that good uh, stuff that could help the channel grow and we could continue uh, to provide you uh, daily value. So today was the big uh, CPI uh, data release and tomorrow will be the big PPI data release and at some point there'll be a Michigan sentiment and at some point there'll be initial job claims and at some point there'll be 30 other things that will tell you that the Fed's job is to try to get inflation down to 2%. That's all this is, okay? And today uh, you had the CPI came in hot, you had the Fed minutes come in, basically reiterated what they said the last f conference. And the moral of the story is this is all unnecessary, but yet here we are. Um, look, I, I think the biggest takeaway right now from the, from the technical level versus uh, the data crunching on the inflation front is kind of where we are. And, and where we are is we are very close to teetering uh, above, well, we're above uh, last week's reversal bar. And that's the, that's the main driving force going into tomorrow. It's not going to be uh, what the PPI has said. It's not going to be any of that stuff. It's going to be whether the market can defend, whether the bulls can defend uh, the 50-day moving average. If you guys remember last week, we had this massive reversal bar and we stopped right at the 50-day which is roughly 435. If you saw the reaction today on the CPI, the market had a tremendous kick save. For Oyaki fans, the goalie came in, had a tremendous kick save, you know where? Da, 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 at 435. This is going to be a massive, guys, massive line in the sand. In case there is a part two tomorrow and they try to try to get, you know, get a goal past the goalie. This 435 needs to be defended because if it doesn't get defended and the bulls give up the 50-day moving average, it's going to be a very, very tough day for the bulls. So 435 tomorrow is going to be absolute massive, okay? Regardless of what you think is going to happen, uh, the response do you think the market's going to have, we're either going to hold 435 again tomorrow on the queues or we're going to give it up. And if it does give up, uh, bad things are going to happen. And that's the most important uh, takeaway going into tomorrow's session. Sometimes, again, you don't need to dissect the split hairs. You just have to know your levels. And this is why the, the queues didn't randomly stop this morning at 435. That was literally last week's lows. And that is a massive line in the sand. So if you are trading on the ETF side, 435, sink or swim, do or die, whatever the hell you want to call it. But that's going to be a major, major area for tomorrow. Uh, on the upside, again, just in case you know the market does, decides to do the reverse juki pookie, that's a very technical term. Uh, again, 443 continues to be the ceiling that the bulls need to penetrate. You can see here uh, they couldn't get through on April the 5th. They couldn't get through uh, yesterday. So 430, uh, 443 to the upside, right? 435 to the downside. And again, everything else is noise. When you look at the individual names, some names held up better than others. Some names are teetering, just like the Qs um, on on support, and some names are just kind of in in in, in kind of la la land. And let's kind of talk about uh, some several names going into tomorrow. You have Nvidia, right? So Nvidia gave us a really really great trade yesterday, and pre market it didn't quite get to yesterday's lows, but it put in technically an inside day. We did see a great reversal today. That's the one thing we did see. And again, when you have a deal with an $800 stock, it doesn't take a lot for a stock to move $15, $20 one way or another. But for all intents and purposes, what we're seeing going into tomorrow's session, as you can see here, it didn't take out yesterday's highs and it obviously didn't take out yesterday's lows. That's an inside day. If the market does rally tomorrow and the, and the, and the PPI comes in uh, well-received, 
NVIDIA needs to get back above the 20 day. Okay. If they could get back above the 20 day moving average, then yeah, I think we do have a chance for a multiple day run uh, back into the 10 day supply. However, if NVIDIA does not follow through and we start losing yesterday's low, yes, we will retest uh, the 50 day moving average like the Qs, kind of a mirror image uh, on the Qs. Uh, Tesla, again, continues to be that disappointing, you know, that disappointing name. You know, again, you, you think it's going to go higher. You think it's going to follow through. You get excited and then you realize this one, it's one of the very few names that continues to trade below the 50-day moving average. Again, below the 50-day is bearish. And all this price action, despite some names, some days that it has really, really good days, it's still below the 50-day moving average. Today, it tested the five-day moving average and held. Watch this thing for tomorrow, okay? Watch this thing for tomorrow. If it starts losing the five-day moving average, then yes, the stock will go back uh, down to its recent lows. Uh, for Tesla to get strong tomorrow, it needs to reclaim the highs from yesterday. So five-day to the downside, yesterday's highs uh, to the upside. AMD. Uh, AMD gave us uh, a nice trade this morning, well, this afternoon, uh, right before the Fed minutes. It, it was kind of the mirror image of NVIDIA. You had this big engulfing candle. It went sideways. It took out the engulfing candle. You know, went down about a dollar fifty or so, uh, and then it snapped back into the close. Watch this thing, you know, again for tomorrow. In case it starts losing today's channel, you know, this thing could have a uh, more downside. Uh, for it to go higher, it's going to need to reclaim back the five day, but that's six seven dollars uh, away from here. Uh, Apple finally broke down today. Right, finally broke down today. We've been talking about this uh, macro channel on Apple um, for weeks. It finally broke down today. Traded, you know, lost the 58, uh, 40s level. Traded all the way down to 67, and now this is the first close, this is the lowest close inside this whole formation. If this thing starts confirming uh, today's channel tomorrow, you're going to see more downside ahead. Again, Apple didn't participate pretty much. Uh, in the last calendar year, Tesla definitely didn't participate uh, in the last calendar year. So it's very, very notable to understand that. Uh, Meta, again, came out with their own uh, PR today. It held very, very nicely on the gap down uh, into the 10-day moving average. Tesla needs, excuse me, uh, Meta needs to get above uh, yesterday's channel. If they could start reclaiming back uh, this upper Bollinger Band, if the market does rally, it does have room all the way back up to last week's high. So again, something we definitely uh, want to watch. Let me give you guys some other names uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, again, I, I have longs, I have shorts going into tomorrow. We're covered on both sides. Uh, MU, okay. MU had a great, great run uh, into earnings, after earnings. Uh, they did come out with news a couple of days ago that they're going to be increasing their prices by about 20%. That news got sold, and now this is the first close below the 10-day moving average. Watch this thing for tomorrow, okay, guys? In case the market is uh, starts selling again and the queues start getting below that 435 level, watch MU tomorrow. If this thing could start losing uh, today's channel, there is room. There's room to the downside, uh, just like you're going to see room to the downside on uh, a bunch of other uh, names. Uh, a smaller name, OSCR. Uh, OSCR, very, very tight channel, had a magnificent run uh, in 2023, spilling over in 2024. It keeps on getting rejected here on the 50-day moving average. If OSCR can get back above the 50-day moving average, it's going to break this whole downtrend. So for all you guys who are trading smaller names or smaller price names, watch this thing on a reclaim tomorrow of the 50-day moving average. And the last one is Roblox. So Roblox, uh, again, was dead in the water for the last month or so. It's trying to get above the 50-day moving average, say, and it actually closed above the 50, but got rejected into the 100-day EMA. Watch this thing for tomorrow. If it can start getting back above, and again, it continues to see if the market does rally, but if Roblox can get back above this 41-ish area and, and close above 41, you could start a, a next level higher. So again, you want to be prepared tomorrow on both sides of the market, both longs and shorts. We, we, we do that every single day. Uh, we don't give anything to chance. We want to make sure that which way the wind blows that we're going uh, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the momentum, uh, not against it. But the key number, again, guys, the key number for tomorrow is this 435. We lose 435, 
there's going to be a problem. Okay, not for people who trade both sides of the market, but for people there sitting there buying dips. The last thing you want to do is start buying dips below the 50-day moving average. Uh, as everybody knows, or if you don't know, if you aren't brand new to the channel, tomorrow is my uh, normal uh, Thursday uh, day off as far as recording the video. Uh, again, if you are curious in pivots and kind of want to see what we do, all you need is 30 day guys. All you need is 30 days uh, in the webinar. You'll quickly see that again, there's an alternative to the normal. Okay. Uh, we trade channels. I don't care which way the market goes. Uh, we trade channels. Everything is based on data driven uh, instances going into the next day. If something confirms, fantastic. If something doesn't confirm, we just wait patiently for something else. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless you all. Have a great, great remainder of your day. Have an amazing trading day tomorrow. And God's help, I'll see the rest of you guys on the field tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a great, great night.